Hello and welcome to part two of our Beehive 101 video on creating segments. In this video, I'm going to cover some specific uh, valuable segments and show you some examples of what you can do with this newest feature. So from the top nav, we're gonna click on audience and navigate to segmentation. I've already created a couple of these examples. So uh, you know my screen will look a little bit different than yours if you're just starting out, but uh, jumping right in, the first segment that we wanted to cover is an engaged user segment. This segment can be really useful for, uh, you know, segmenting your subscribers based on their behavior of engagement with a publication. Um, the use case for this could be sending only to users who have engaged and who have been your kind of most fervent supporters, which can help uh, warm IP addresses. It can help, you know, get better placement in the inbox. Uh, and make sure that the people you're sending to are interested in receiving your newsletter and are still kind of interested. Uh, in order to set this up, what we want to do is we're targeting people who have either opened an email over a certain period of time or have clicked on an email over a certain period of time. Um, these examples here we have set to 30 and 60 days, but this is really going to depend primarily on the behavior of your audience the frequency of your publishing, and uh, you know some other things like how many links you might have in your publication. Um, the other aspect is going to be ensuring that we're only including users who are actually actively subscribed. So to get this built, we're going to start with the top level logic of we're going to require uh, users to meet one of these conditions, not all of them. So it's going to be either they clicked or they have opened an email. So within there, we see we have these two groupings that we've set up. Inside this first grouping, we say uh, we're going to make them match all of these conditions. So it's going to be an and you know statement between this criteria and this second criteria. In this case, we're doing clicks are greater than zero within the last 60 days, uh, and the subscriber status is active. Alternatively, for the second case, and say this that the we're going to be targeting users who have opened an email greater than zero times, so at least once in the last thirty days, uh, and then we're also going to say that they also have to be uh, active subscribers. Uh, they have to be, of course, not unsubscribed. So when we say that this is going to depend on your own publication, if you're publishing every day, you may want to shorten these time frames to be you know, a user has to have opened within the last seven days or clicked within the last 14 days. Usually we like to have the click logic be longer than the, the open logic because clicking is a much uh, kind of stronger indication of engagement versus just opening an email, uh, especially with today's world where Apple, uh, you know, mail may automatically open emails having, uh, you know, some click logic can also be useful. And if you have a lot of users um, who you, know are on Apple devices, you might want to take that into account when building this as well. But regardless, um, this is how we would go about setting up a very basic engaged user segment. So next, we're going to go to this engaged unengaged user segment, which is going to be very similar, but it's going to almost have be the inverse logic. So instead of saying users can match any of the criteria, we're going to say they have to match all of the criteria. And we're going to have to we're say that the opens have to be zero in the last uh, 30 days and clicks have to be exactly zero within the last 60 days. Um, so relatively straightforward in that way. We don't have to worry about users being subscribed or unsubscribed because if they are either, um, but they match that criteria, they would be considered unengaged. Next, we move to um, an example of how we can use our attribute logic to create a segment. In this case, we're creating a segment based on embedded form subscribers. So these are users who have used an external form uh, to subscribe to a publication. In this case, we would go to uh, the condition or group and click attribute. And then we'd select channel from the dropdown is, and then we'd select embed. Very simple, very powerful can give you a lot of insight. You can make this even more specific by using some of the UTM source and medium information in order to define um, you know, the website that it came from or the, the form, the specific external form that it came from. 
Next up uh, it is an example of a segment that could be created if you're running paid ads, or paid media. Typically, uh, you know your your paid ads are going to include UTM parameters. A common UTM parameter is CPC, standing for cost per click, but it could be PPC, it could be paid. Um, you know, depending on the system that your specific case uses. But uh, in this case, we're going to use one group as well as a single line of logic, and we're going to ensure that. Um, this segment all you know matches all of the criteria, and so the first one is going to be the UTM parameter for medium is equal to CPC, and then we're going to have this group. In this case, it's a contrived example that we're running paid media across a lot of different channels, and we want to make sure that we're capturing the users from Facebook and LinkedIn. So it's this group is going to say user is the source is either Facebook or LinkedIn, and the medium is is CPC. Um, and so you name it something like paid signups, Facebook and LinkedIn, and make it a dynamic segment and you're good to go. The last one we wanted to cover was another group example. Uh, this would be one where you wanna export a list of premium subscribers who have engaged with your email recently and who are also still subscribed. So in this case, we have a grouping of, you know, opens equaling greater than zero within the last 30 days, as well as a status that is active. Those are combined together with an and statement. And then we're gonna say that must be true and their tier must be premium. So this would give you your active, engaged, premium subscribers, just as another example of, of how we can use these to uh, segment our users. So as we get to the final stages of this video, um, we want to cover, you know, a couple of things for housekeeping. If you are done with this uh, segment and you no longer find it useful, you can delete it by clicking this button here. We can edit it for, you know, changing conditions by clicking the edit button. And then lastly, one of the most powerful features of this uh, new segmentation suite is the ability to export subscribers. So you can click this button. It'll export a CSV of the users that were within that segment. And this can be really useful if you're doing, um, you know, marketing across social media platforms. You can upload lists of emails and match them to users on the platform. Uh, maybe you want to send personalized emails to your, you know, paid subs uh, paid subscribers. You could export their emails and send them personalized, you know, one to one communications. The really exciting part here as well is that you know this segmentation. Uh, is laying the groundwork for some new features that we're going to be releasing later in 2022, where depending on your plan, you'll be able to, uh, you know, set up email flows or journeys where when a user meets a certain criteria, they'll automatically be enrolled and eligible to receive, um, you know, an email, uh, you know, that, that communicates, you know, a very specific message in that way. The other feature that we'll be rolling out is the ability to send uh, emails on a batch basis directly to a specific segment. So, um, you know, maybe you only want to send a special email to your active paid subscribers. You'll be able to do that very soon. Hopefully this was really useful and insightful. We'd love to hear about any additional segments that you've been making or that you're interested in making. If you have any questions about how to, you know, find some of the logic or, you know, you have a segment in mind that you're not really sure how to how to make, please let us know. We'd love to help you out and, you know, we'd love to see what the community contributes and the thoughts that everybody has around um, segmenting their audiences. Thank you for your time and we look forward to seeing what you make and look forward to growing with you. Have a great day.